this episode, Hogarth's Gin Lane is in the frame at Tate Britain. This has to be the most notorious image of drinking in British art, and it was created by the 18th century artist William Hogarth, and it's a print which is known as Gin Lane. Hogarth created it almost as a piece of impassioned political propaganda in support of this general campaign that resulted in the Gin Act of 1751. And the whole point of the act was to reduce the consumption of gin amongst the poorer classes of Londoners. Initially, you might think that this feels like a teeming scene, almost comic, but the closer you look, the more squalid and worrying it becomes. The central figure grabs your eye immediately, and it's this half-naked, destitute, gin-crazed mother. And we know that she has been a prostitute in the past because if you look at her leg, it's covered with syphilitic sores. And she's so drunk, she's looking down at this box of snuff and allowing her baby to tumble from her breast into this abyss on the other side. Everywhere you find little details like that which are talking about the horrendous effects on society of gin. You can see in the foreground this really skeletal, corpse-like, cadaverous figure, a balladeer who's half dead. You can see one of his ballads popping out of the basket he holds in front of him. And next to him is his dark dog, the black dog signifying despair. There's a man hanging from the ceiling of a room. The wall is broken away. He's a barber. People have spent all their money on alcohol. They can't afford even to cut their hair or have a shave. And this man is ruined and he's committed suicide. And the detail that I find most disturbing, because it's so fiendish and nightmarish and leaving reality altogether, but unforgettable, is this lunatic who you see in the middle of that mob at the back dancing a jig and he has a pair of bellows on his head and he's holding a spike. If you look really close, you can see that a baby has been impaled upon the spike. It's like something that Goya would represent in the middle of a war half a century or so later. And yet here it is on Londoners' doorsteps. So, a lot of the works that I've talked about in this series, they have an unruly zest, if you like. The theme of alcohol seems to allow the artist to unleash their creativity. And you do see that here because there's a tremendous unforgettable energy to this image. But in terms of the subject matter it depicts, it's no longer a joke. This is a vision about drinking, about alcohol, about booze, but it's probably the most sobering version of that subject ever created by an artist.